Today's video is going to be all about the newest fragrances within my collection slash a little bit of a fragrance haul. So if you wanna find out more, then please keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you are visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. As already mentioned in the intro, today's video is a little bit of a haul video. So these are the newest fragrances within my collection. And I feel like I have a little bit of explaining to do with one of these fragrances. But before we get started on the fragrance content, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. 70% of the people who watch my content do not subscribe to my channel. So if you are one of them, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. So now I've got that out of the way, let's jump in to the first fragrance. So the first fragrance is none other than the very, very popular Amouage Guidance. Is this the most popular fragrance of the year? I think so. Is it the most hyped fragrance of the year? I also think so. Is it one of the most longest lasting fragrances of the year? I also think so, but I do have some explaining to do. Now, for those of you that do not watch my channel, or even those of you that don't watch all of my videos, I did my first impressions on Guidance. Now granted, I didn't have the bottle, but my first impressions were that I liked it, but it made me feel nauseous, so it wasn't for me. And I know there are some people out there that absolutely ride or die by this fragrance, that love it to the end of the earth, and they get so many compliments. And just to caveat this, I also have complimented people wearing this fragrance. I was at an event and Clements was there, and I was like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing, what are you wearing? And she said, Amouage Guidance. So this stuff smells good. It has the most insanely beautiful scent bubble. That is undeniable. But the reason why I said it wasn't for me when I first sampled it is because I found it made me a little bit nauseous and that is due to the strength of this stuff. Now, objectively, this is an absolutely beautifully composed fragrance that is extremely special and is very unique. That has to be said. But when I had tried it, it just made me feel a little bit nauseous because it is an absolute powerhouse. Now I received this in the mail. I did not know it was coming and it was kindly gifted to me from Amouage. So thank you so much to Amouage for sending this over to me. So I thought I need to try it again. So I wore it for the third time the other day and I had the same opening impression. Wow, this is a beautifully composed fragrance. It's creamy, it's fruity. The nuttiness is absolutely beautiful. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, but it goes without saying that this is a very, very strong fragrance. So I sprayed it on myself and I also sprayed it on my husband. I left the house for the day. I was only out for about two hours. I got two compliments in two hours to the point where someone actually followed me out the shop that I was in and she was like, your perfume has filled the room up. What is it? So I type it up on my phone and she takes a picture of it. This stuff gets compliments without a doubt. So carrying on the story. I get home and at that point it's about four hours later and I walk into my husband's office and I can still smell guidance. It's absolutely filled the whole room up. So again, this stuff that sticks with you. Now, I think this is a beautiful fragrance, but at the same time, for me personally, it's just a little bit too strong. And because I suffer with migraines, it does make me feel a little bit nauseous as the day goes on. So I can tolerate the first four, five, six hours, 
But then after that point, it's still mega strength and it starts to become cloying and makes me feel a little bit nauseous. I just want to say that it's obviously just my experience with this. I know so many people absolutely love this fragrance and do not experience that. This is definitely a me thing. But I do want to caveat that with objectively, I think this is a masterfully composed fragrance. It's extremely unique and I'm definitely still going to wear it. I just won't spray too much and I'm going to play around with it. I do feel like this is one that can grow on me even more. It's not that I dislike this fragrance in any way because I don't. I actually think it's beautiful, like I've said. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of an explanation on this. I totally did not expect this to show up at my door. Like I said, I'm extremely grateful for it. But I do hope I grow to love this one even more. But I have it in my collection. I'm so happy about the 50ml bottle. I think it's super cute. And if you didn't know that they did a 50ml bottle, they do. So yeah, the first new fragrance in my collection is Amouage Guidance. Next up, we have Intoxicated by Killian. And this one is an absolute cardamom bomb. So if you love cardamom fragrances, then you need to get your nose on Intoxicated. This is another one that I've wanted to add to my collection for the longest time. I think it's such a beautiful cardamom based fragrance with a twist because you've also got a dose of coffee, you've got some nutmeg and some cinnamon. Definitely the kind of notes that I gravitate towards. I will say that this is extremely heavy on the cardamom, so you have to like that note. And the coffee is definitely prominent, but it's a black coffee. It's not milky in any way. And then I do get the spices too, but the cardamom is what shines in this fragrance. And I absolutely love cardamom. This almost makes my eyes roll. It's very spicy and very aromatic. I feel like this is super, super sexy. Now this is definitely a unisex fragrance. However, I do feel like it's a little bit more masculine leaning just because of those spicy notes. I love wearing this just because I enjoy cardamom, as I've said a hundred times already. But that feeling of the dark coffee in the cooler weather, this cuts through the air like none other. And it's just a very, I guess, intoxicating fragrance as the name suggests. Absolutely perfect for the seasons ahead and I can't wait to rock it. Now I got this one from Niche Gallery. I've mentioned their website in the past. They always have mega discounts on the website. If you sign up to the newsletter, you get 20% off your first order and then you can add another 10% on top of that with Haley 10. So you can get 30% off automatically and also they have flash sales, so you can also get more than 30% off. So I just wanted to let you know that because that's a really good discount on brands like Killian, Tom Ford, they have Amouage, they have Roger. So definitely go and check them out. They ship internationally, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that that is where I got my intoxicated from. The next fragrance is from Hermetica, and this one is called Tom Candy. And as soon as I saw that this fragrance was being released, I was like, I need to get my nose on this because I love Tonka fragrances. And Tonka Candy, I mean, wow, yes, definitely needed to smell this. And without even reading the notes, this smells exactly like the name suggests. This is candy and this is tonka bean. Imagine mixing candy floss with tonka bean. I don't even think that's a thing, but that is exactly how this smells to me. It's very sweet and gourmand. So much candy, like a mixture of different candies. Very, very sweet but I get Tonka Bean Candy Floss. This one is so, so delicious. It is very new to my collection. I made a little dent in it already just because I think it's so yummy. But what I wanna say is this one is extremely concentrated. The first time I sprayed this on, I was left with the most gorgeous oily residue on my hand. And I believe this is a 30% concentration. So that means it's got 30% perfume oil in here. And that is a really strong concentration if you did not already know. But yeah, I would highly recommend Tonkandy. I will review it in more detail in a future video. 
but it is pretty linear in terms of it smells like tonka and candy. The next fragrance is from a very luxurious brand that I have already showcased on my channel, but this is a new fragrance and it is from Benina. I just wanted to show you the beautiful display case and it opens up like so, and you've got this beautiful, very opulent bottle in the case. So I'm just gonna grab out this perfume and put the case down. So the perfume that I have here is Royal Bouquet, and this absolutely smells like royalty and like a Royal Bouquet. So I can see why they've named this fragrance as such. And look at this packaging. It is extremely luxurious and opulent and it looks beautiful displayed. But we're here to talk about the fragrance and whilst I love the most beautiful opulent packaging, I feel like the juice inside is what counts. And Royal Bouquet is definitely the type of fragrance that I really enjoy and that resonates with me. This is a sweet bouquet of florals, but it has a little bit of earthiness from Oris too. And then there's a dose of vanilla in here. This is very regal. It smells pretty, but at the same time, it smells rich and luxurious. It's not just any floral fragrance. This has a backbone and it is really, really strong. This is so gorgeous. So I'm getting kind of peachy florals in the opening. I'm getting that vanilla from the blast. It's sweetened. I'm feeling like I'm getting osmanthus and it kind of pulls a little bit like apricot, which I love. It's a little bit jammy. I get a teeny bit of that oris, but that really comes through more so on the skin. I'm definitely getting the rose and it's a sweet, I would say pink rose. Oh, this stuff smells very, very expensive. I mean, it also is expensive, but I love that you also get the beautiful packaging alongside it. It just makes you feel extremely polished. And I guess because when you know that you're wearing something so opulent and beautifully composed, it's going to make you feel like a million dollars too. And this definitely lasts all day. Now I'm smelling it even more. I would say it has a little bit of a vintage touch to it too, which adds to that regal vibe. Smells beautifully realistic. Those florals, it's not synthetic at all. It definitely smells like a luscious bouquet of florals. I'm still smelling it in the air. It's all around me, by the way. I've got this beautiful bubble around me. And the jamminess from the osmanthus, which was pulling like apricot, is dissipating a little bit and I'm left with the florals. I feel like I'm getting some jasmine now too. Just a really, really special fragrance. Please do let me know if you want a more in-depth review when I've worn this a little bit more. But if you want something really opulent and luxurious, I would recommend checking out Benina because from what I've sampled so far, the fragrances are superb quality. I also have a worthiness, which I have reviewed on my channel. But yeah, that was Royal Bouquet by Benina. The next fragrance is from Arnamalia and this is Enchracht and sorry for my pronunciation there. This is of course in French and I just need to take a moment for this packaging because wow, I think it's mind-blowingly beautiful personally. I just love the packaging of this fragrance and the juice inside is really unique to my collection. In essence, it's a Chypre fragrance, so very much floral with patchouli, but then there's a big dose of Immortel in the opening, which gives this an almost aromatic, slightly earthy quality. But then it's followed by the tuberose and rose, which gives this a classy and feminine feel. There's a little bit of incense in here and there's also a little bit of leather. But then you get the patchouli mixed in with some powdery nuances and then a little bit of orange blossom. It's a really unique DNA. I do not have anything like this. Yeah, opens with that immortel note, which is very strong in presence and it could be a little bit jarring in some ways, but it does settle down. And then I start to get that patchouli and for me it comes through quite earthy. 
And I guess the incense also makes this a little bit earthy yet smoky at the same time. It's not a church incense. It's a little bit more subtle, but this is incredibly unique in DNA. The tuberose is quite a heady tuberose. It's not got that kind of bubblegum vibe to it. And the rose is more of a mature rose. And then you've got that beautiful powderiness that kind of gives it a vintage edge. The orange blossom is kind of sweet, but not overly sweet. And then you've got that leather that really grounds this. But I don't have anything that I could compare this to. It's a very classy fragrance. I see someone wearing this that's very put together and they want to smell very mysterious and different to the crowd. I see this as more of a nighttime scent. It's very Parisian chic in my opinion. I need to play around with this one a little bit longer because it is more of a challenging DNA. I absolutely love it, but it's hard to describe. So let me wear it a couple more times before I give a more rounded review. But this one is definitely, definitely going to stand out. And I'd highly recommend getting a sample of this one if you want something in your collection that's quite unique, that has a slightly vintage feel to it, but at the same time is dark and mysterious. So for the next fragrance, let's talk about something that's a little bit more easygoing. And the next fragrance is from Omnia and this one is Madeira. How cute is this little bottle by the way? So this was a fragrance that I sampled back in March at Essence because Gabby from Gabby Loves Perfumes took me over to their stand and she was like, you need to try some of these fragrances. I think you will really like them. And they do gourmands beautifully. And Madeira really stood out to me. It was very nostalgic. And to me, this smells a little bit like cream soda or kind of like a coconut macaron. That kind of vibe. It's definitely got a coconutty, biscuity feel to it. Yet at the same time, I'm also getting cream soda. It's very, very sweet, but it lasts so long on the skin. I'm getting that beautiful kind of desiccated coconut vibe to it, which I know isn't in cream soda, but it's got that kind of fizzy, creamy, vanillic quality to it. I don't know how to explain it. Really, really delicious. It is a little bit floral, but I'm getting lots of the caramel and lots of the vanilla. And if you are a gourmand lover, you absolutely need to check out Madeira. It's a fantastic, fantastic perfume, but it is very sweet. So you need to enjoy your sweet perfumes. Quite hard to get your hands on. It's available at My Perfect Scent here in the UK. And I will link some other places internationally where you can buy or sample this one too. But yeah, this is a gourmand dream. Very, very sweet, very, very delicious. And the last fragrance that I have to share with you is from Scentologia and this one is Absolute. And this is another brand that I tried at Essence and fell in love with. They have one of the best mango fragrances on the market, which is called Synergy. But Absolute really stood out to me too, because it's a little bit similar to Alexandria 2 by Zerzhov, which is an extremely expensive fragrance and a very luxurious fragrance. And this has a similar vibe but with some unique twists. And I just wanted to tell you that it smelled a little bit similar so you could get the overall vibe of what this perfume smells like because this brand is a little bit harder to sample. I haven't seen them in any retailers near me and harder to get your nose on. So that is why I did do the slight comparison. I don't like doing that too often. And this is a very complex, powdery, musky, tobacco, amber fragrance with some twists along the way. So it has a note of hay in here, which is just perceived to be a little bit kind of like natural earthiness, I guess straw-like. And then you've got sage, cypriol oil, and bay leaf. So you're getting that earthy, natural quality in the top. But then in the base, you're getting that tobacco, you're getting tonka bean, there's some amber. So very, very unique in profile. Through the mid, you're getting some florals. There's a little bit of guyac wood and then you get a big dose of vanilla. But to me, this smells like the most gorgeous, complex, musky fragrance with a slight hint of tobacco, the sweetness from the vanilla and then some natural 
kind of earthy nuances at the top. I think it's so, so gorgeous. It's an extremely strong fragrance. It will absolutely last you all day. And I can't wait to play around with it a little bit more because as you can see, it's still very new to my collection. And I did go through a sample of this one, which I got back in March in Milan. Can't wait to wear this one. It's a very special fragrance in my opinion, and I will give you more details in a future video to come, but please stay tuned for a more in-depth review if you do wanna see that on this fragrance. So those were all of the fragrances that are new in my collection that I wanted to showcase today. Please do let me know your thoughts on these, whether it be good or bad, I would just love to hear your feedback, but I wanna know what is the newest fragrance that you have added to your collection. Hopefully I can find some new fragrances to discover in the comments, but thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a pleasure as always. I hope to see you in a future video to come. Thank you so much and goodbye.